Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to RimWorld. What do we have going on here? I did a little bit of work last night after I recorded that one. Just touched up a few things that I saw while I was editing, but this is just I'm just turning it on now today. Oh, there's, this was a comment that came up. Um, Lady Shell was saying, at least had the impression that uh, we weren't quite a, a square over here, so be careful where I'm placing my... Uh, um, grow areas, grow zones, that's what you call them. It looks that way because I've got the doors off center. I wanted to line them up with this and eventually run a pathway up into there. But in reality, it is a square. It's just an optical illusion. Mm -hmm. And also, we were talking about the new tree areas and what to choose here. After I stopped recording last time, I stared at this a while and went in and read all of the different things and um, the conclusion that the rim wiki chart shows is that poplar is probably your best one as far as how much wood comes out of it per day yet looking at the description I would have thought the opposite because they went to a you know to extremes to me to say a softwood tree grows fast but yields little useful wood it's like you know don't pick this one Oh, it's kind of strange how the chart shows the opposite of what their description is. Uh, none of the other ones work that hard to make you not pick it. But I decided to go in with a variety so we can see a lot of different trees. We've got willows down here, birch, poplar. We've got some maple over here and some pine that rabbits already got to work on. And they're taking down all of the existing trees in order to make the grow area, which has given us a good burst of wood coming out of this too. That's going to be helpful. Otherwise, roll call, what's going on? Before we get this going, Sean, uh, Tomislav is sound asleep and about ready to pop out of bed and grab a meal and get started. Doing what? What is he up to these days? Tomislav, he is researching. Okay, which gets us closer to our moisture pump, which we'll test in here and see how well that works. Handy's up. And, oh good, working on this area. I, wanna, I would love to see this area done. But it's going to take a lot more wood to get that finished. Um, you are, you've got a good part of the day yet to go. You have a meal on you? You do not. So you're going to have to run for a meal soon. Okay, Rabbit is up and grabbing a meal. It means he just got up. Yep. No, not necessarily, but he's up. And sewing area. I've got him planned into here to get sewing on it. They want to do, for some reason, these first. Maybe it's a distance thing. Could be. Where is he? That may be closer than that. Yeah. But I set him specifically to get in here and work on the cotton and rice and strawberries. So that's his plan for the day. Shantigo, you are consuming a fine meal. Needs. You just got up. Okay. And don't really have a plan for you. We've got 75 and 72, so that's most likely where you'll just dive in. Meals, we've got 26 good ones, so we max out at 50, so he's got some work out of them. There is an awful armor vest just sitting there waiting for someone to scoop it up. Who's wearing armor vests now? I know Tomislav is. A little gray right there. Um, not seeing any shirts that are changed, so nobody else is. Cathra? Nope. Armor vest sitting out over here. We have... Uh, um, make until, uh, you know, to have two in stock. And there's a few more of these little guys here to read, too. Um, so I'm assuming that they're going to walk through and just pick them up as she drops them off, as she makes them. Um, Contigo Klaus is, needs, he's halfway through his day, hauling granite chunks, hauling, oh, I see, he's working on lamps in here. Right in there, and then he's off to fill in some more voids in here, uh, more uh, walls. Okay, Sh uh, Sangria, sound asleep, and just about ready to get up for the day, and probably animal taming is, is your major role, right? No, 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 you're also on plant cut and growing, so you're going to be out trying to help Rabbit get all this done. Okay, Kathra wants to art. She wants to small sculpture, and she has got her eyes on that stack of marble blocks, and that's where she's going. Yep. Okay, Natalia. Uh, Kathra needs your... You just got up. Okay. Natalia, you are 
double click again there you are um, making an armor vest so you're up here for more components so these armor vests and I don't remember if the helmets did or not but at least the armor vests and of course all the weapons will need lots of components we still have 32 in here and we have a lot of ship parts to, to break down with up to eight of them in each of those so there's still quite a quite a few available to us and Michael where are you you're consuming a fine meal just got up and don't have a plan for you for the day you're probably block cutting which we still need a lot of and that gets your your craft skill up to something high enough to be able to tackle more of the art and smithing projects without worry about uh, um, the quality you're going to put out. Miss P is digging up marble. Got you doing... Oh, I wanted you to get rid of that little thing right there. And then you're going to get back into here. So bedrooms are starting to happen. We're starting to see the, uh, the outer edges. We've got a, a hallway that runs down here. So down like that so little by little we're starting to expose all of this and Alicia sound asleep and we'll be getting up in moments okay so I guess that is it let's let this thing run we'll see what uh, what's coming our way it's been uh, you know had a nice quiet episode and clean up the mess from the, the psychic ship up there we're waiting to see what the game is going to throw at us. We're at 6 in the morning. Our power is starting to come up. That little yellow bar is starting to rise as the sun gets higher in the sky. So we should see power going into these. 62. Well, we got positive power over here. 63. Okay. So handy, you are building a roof somewhere. Oh, you're going to put up my awning over here. Great. After that, though, if I cue you to do this now, you'll probably stop halfway through, won't you? Oh, over here. I extended this little area. Um, I'm going to stop you. Let's get to work on this. Reserve by Klaus. Okay. All right, that works. Klaus, you. Okay. I guess I... Hmm. I think what you were doing in here. I guess maybe you laid these in right there. Okay. That could be it. Anyway, Andy's going to start building all of these blocks we've got laid out. So she's going to spend her day down there doing nothing but building. Alicia's up. She's tapping away. You got a meal, right? Yep. And going to open up the other side of this, this hallway over here. That's good. Um, Support-wise, could stand to get something built over here. Andy, why don't you move into this space over here and just give me a, a center support in that area. And then I'd probably feel a little better if there was another center support put in, like right here. Okay. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good in here. Um, our perimeter wall might be nice to get these done. Let's set you to do this guy next. And then hop into this one. Let's get all of this area done. Batteries in good just starting to to uh, put some power into it and then yeah we're a little weak up in this area too so after that maybe I'll have you handy just gonna kind of send you randomly through the whole place working on important things okay otherwise we got a sport in there good and as for support over there got that one okay little by little there's that one <laughs> All right. Rabbit. Good. Sewing's happening over here. Shantigo. Making meals, and you just finished everything off. Okay. You are going to come back and pick all these up. I wish I could somehow program them to do that automatically without putting in a mod. <laughs> uh, okay. You're going to drop that off. We're going to load up some of these guys. We're going to load up meat. I mean, a meat of 75 right there can't do it yet okay no no still can't there is five meat in there and you are venison uh, you're venison you're warg you're bear okay now 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 you got to take the meal out of there that's a shame that that is the same spot that you like to drop your meal all right haul that one and now Little by little, we'll 
try to convince the game to give us permission. Inspiration, go frenzy. I cannot get let the have the game let me put that meat in there. Oh, it's frustrating. We're still on Shantigo. I can do that one. But I can't do that one. Why is that? It's fresh, 60 out of 60. That doesn't make sense to me. This spot. We've had all kinds of random problems with it. You will accept what? Raw foods? Meat, all but human, insect, and that's it. You'll even take Yorkshire Terrier meat. And you'll definitely take Warg right there. But I can't make Shantigo place it. Hmm. Okay, well, we can do that one. We can do this Warg over here. I'll have to do that, but I'll let you do your 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 uh, your sculpture viewing first. And, in fact, for that matter, let's go view a few sculptures of our own. There's the, uh, the armor vest. Someone will come out here and grab it. Anyway, so what have we got here? We have got a small sculpture by Cathra called Day Number Nine. Let's make sure we haven't seen this one before. Um, this artwork relates to Cathra finishing construction on a sculpture. So... Made by Cathra about herself finishing a sculpture. Really? Okay. Well, let's read it. This work shows Cathra inscribing her name on a sculpture with a satisfied expression on her face. The sculpture is intricately detailed. A butterfly stands in the lower part of the image. The image somehow expresses both injury and scarcity. This artwork relates to Catherine finishing a construction on a sculpture on 14th of September. Well, it gives us a plus 34 to beauty, so it's good. So that one's good. Let's try to keep track of these. This one by Cathra. Um, shoddy. Only a plus 5, so we'll probably sell this one. Called Red Clump. <clears throat> this piece bears a portrayal of six maids and bakers eating bok choys together. <laughs> the scene seems to take a take place on the outskirts of a village. Almost every shape in the image seems to be well balanced. Okay. What else we got? This one. Made by Cathra. Force by Choco. Okay. Relates to the knocking unconscious of Choco by Handy. Hmm, do we know who Choco is? I wish we did, because 135 is a great beauty um, rating. I'm guessing is one of the, one of our enemies that is now buried somewhere. If we went and looked at all the graves, we'd find a Choco out there somewhere. Bears betrayal of Cervexa Choco being disabled with an assault rifle with cold efficient, efficiency. Choco's eyes are closed, a dead condor smiles in the upper part of the image while the work is infused with the idea of vengeance and is done in a glitch art style. Hmm. Okay, well, it's got a good beauty rating. <laughs> I'll give it that. Here's a shoddy codex for extension. Have we seen this one? Uh, betrayal relates to Cather finishing construction on a sculpture by Michael. Yeah, we saw that one couple episodes ago so this group is done what's this these two over here we need to set up a, an area just for these so we can kind of keep track of them awful by michael so we've i think we've seen all of michael's he hasn't yeah this one needs to be sold and this one <clears throat> vengeance number zero by Cathra. what's this one tells the story of shantigo attending shantigo's party that sounds familiar i think we've seen this one um Depicts Shantigo having a conversation with Shant... No, I have we haven't seen this one. What? Depicts Shantigo having a conversation with Shantigo while tactful. Innumerable brothers are involved in the conversation. <laughs> the image seems to express persecution. This is a... F there is a forest in the upper part of the image. Hmm. You know, Cathra is considered a, a surgeon... And what, uh, let me pop out of this for a second here. Um, Tomislav is considered a doctor. 
and Natalia is considered a scientist. Is there anybody here that delves more into the, the psychological arts of, of medicine? Because um, I'm thinking that maybe, uh, where is it, this one? No, right there, that uh, Shantigo has got a little bit of a split personality issue going on here. <laughs> Or else Catherine does, one or the other. Santigo having a conversation with Santigo with innumerable brothers involved in the conversation. That's interesting. We've got a little bit of beauty out of it, though, 34. So we can we can use that one. So that's those, that's those. That is all the sculptures up to this point. Okay. So, Catherine, do you have... Um, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Do you have craft skills? You do. You're about the same as Michael. So maybe I can swap you out with block cutting later and get him back into artwork again. And that way he can start making his own sculptures too and we can have fun reading all of them. Anyway, get that going again. And so we've got two or three good ones in there. This one up here was um, directly related to Sangria. Okay. And... Hmm... Where do we put some of these? Not sure. If you have any thoughts, let me know. Otherwise, between episodes, I'll go through and figure out which rooms have the least beauty and pop in there and uh, clean them up a little bit. Kathra has been inspired. She'll walk one and a half times faster. Now, Kathra walk speed already was 4.7, so she's at 6.32. She's probably the fastest one in the place now because I'm thinking pretty much all of the... Oh, we have one. We have still have it left in Rabbit. Okay. Uh, Klaus still has a two. So his run speed is 7.3. So Kathra's kind of caught up with the rest of them. So what do you say we put Kathra on temporary hauling duty? Right here, Kathra. Right there. And haul. Let's take your art down to two. And we'll pause you right there and let you just... Uh, Oh, good. Refuel the stove. All right, you do all that, and Natalia's running her grinder again. Make another armor vest. Okay, and what are you making them out of? i remind myself here. Bills, uh, you just want to rest. Must hit your timer. Uh, bills, armor vests, details out of steel, and two components. I just noticed that the armor, that armor vest was white. I've never seen a white armor vest before. And I won't be seeing one now either. Nope, somebody's got it. Right there. Shantigo. Right? Gear. Armor vest. But Tomislav, he's got one too, but his is gray. Normal. Handy has a white one. Normal. Rabbit. Normal. Shantigo. Awful. That is all of them. So we're making white ones, but you can buy gray ones. Hmm. Okay. Shantigo, what are you doing? You're making kibble with the good meats. Um, our meals are good? No. Why are you making kibble now? How bad off is the kibble? It's not. I don't understand. You, fueled stove, we have fuel. We haven't hit 50. Huh, I don't know why. Let's, uh, Shantigo, drop that and cook on. Oh, because in order for Cathra to, yeah, go ahead and do that. In order for Cathra to refuel it, she has to take over the stove. You can't have two people doing anything with the stove at once. Okay, so once that's done and we are... 32 of 50. Is she still? She is rearming wooden deadfall trap. No, 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 no. Let's... Where is that? So that is a hauling job, huh? Well, let's cancel that for now. And... We'll wait on that one. Sangra, you're doing what? You're harvesting poplar tree. Okay. Uh, Kathra, did you reset? You are hauling kibble. Okay. We'll wait on that one. Now, hmm, it's hauling, so it tells me there isn't a particular skill that will give someone a better chance at doing it successfully without getting hurt. 
Am I reading that right? Anyway, so we are planting up here. Oh, we're taking down more of the ones that were meant to be cut. Okay. Now she will do that along with her animal handling. Sangria handling is first. So when she's timed out and she's been no one else's no animals are ready to be worked with then she'll drop over into plant cut and then when both those are exhausted she'll go into growing that works rabbit speaking of exhausted you're resting needs yeah <clears throat> um though can you run back up here rabbit and bring these in thank you constantly roaming around looking for looking for someone that can haul something churchill is hauling all right, what's happened here? None of the of the pups were were there yet, but you're now a full size doggy. All right, well in that case we've got Hall turned on for you two, and Alpaca apparently never really gets the command for Hall, huh? Okay, um, you guys are X's over here, and we have an. We have an Isabel puppy that needs to be, let's see here, set for handle, not for release, and then just needs to grow up. Otherwise, we've got wild boars set for sangria. Let's go to none. Okay. And what is the easiest way to see if anybody has bonded and I don't know about it? Combat or social without having to manually do this. There's no button that moves you between all the, all the animals. So, okay, well, we know that Sienna is bonded to Handy. We have that, so I guess we could do this and see if it shows up. Let's go here, Handy Bond. Okay, so we'll do this, nothing. Though that box is kind of in my way. Nothing there. Okay, it shows all the animal handlers down below, I see. So there, nothing new. Nope. So no other bonding has happened. Nope. Okay. So we don't have to worry about issues with that right now. All right. Charge is going in. When this guy hits 100%, I'll throw that switch, and we'll just be relying on this group. This could go away. In fact, I have... Yeah, this, this not needed to be there, so we can uh, uh, deconstruct that one. Alicia is working over here. Good. And this right here is our airlock. So let's put in another door. Um, structure, wooden door, there. And any wooden doors that have been built for now, let's go ahead and lock them open. And that way we can move in and out of here easily. Uh, is there, there's nothing there. Ah, I see. So structure, you are marble. Um, right there, marble walls. You guys go there, there. That's marble in there. Okay. So, Klaus, you've got a good run speed. How about filling all these in? And we'll get our, our perimeter secured a little bit here. This one, let's mark for orders, haul things there. Get these guys out of the walls. That one. What else is in the way up in here? No, we're fine there. Hmm, that one can go... That's what's been kind of blocking them from filling in the uh, the blocks. So I have I can't haul those because they've got to take a, a special trip to get rid of the chunks that are in the way. Feels like there's something there. There it is. There's something there. 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 Okay, that takes care of that. So I'm gonna look down my list, see what's been. What we've not been doing, we need to get back to. Um, here, a little more interesting for you to watch while I'm staring down here. I'm not really seeing anything. Really, just waiting to see what the game throws at us next, and and get. Uh, let me flip the page here. There we are. Hmm. Lay out more of the base. That's about as, as specific as it gets. I did come up with a name for this structure here. I'm going to call this one the Tactical Defense Structure. The TDS. 
Gotta get this one completed. In fact, maybe we'll do that one right now. Uh, Handy sleeping rabbit sleeping. Tomislav's researching. Researching. He's got some some construction skills. So is Klaus. Klaus needs, and you've got some uh, some time on your hands here. Okay. So Klaus, let's have you. Let's see here. Why don't you tackle this while and you? Boy, well, we're getting a lot of hauling going on now. Good. I need someone to take this tree down. Try that again. Chop. Who's around here? Kathra is hauling raw fungus to stockpile three. I'm going to let you. But who else is up here that... Yeah, Natalia won't. Michael won't. That'll cut down a tree. Sangria is probably on the other side of the world. Yep. Are you getting ready to come back? No, you're here for a while. Good. Then I want to get you to haul wood in when you do. How to do that. I wish I knew how many of these trees you could do in that amount of time. I could just say do that and then do that and that and that and that and that. Or I could just say never mind because the dogs are doing the job for me. Well, isn't that nice? Okay, never mind. Um, I still need someone to chop down a tree though. Jantigo, you are mining. We couldn't, we do have enough meals. You did it. And you like mining, so I'll leave you alone. Who else can I bug? Um, Klaus, you were up in, where am I? Right here. And you got away. Otherwise, oh, you're right there. So, where are you going? You're resting. After you take this tree down. Right there. And this would be granite blocks. Klaus, I thought you had a lot more time. You did have a lot more time. We just, oh, we've kind of hit our timer now. That's right. Okay. Well, let's stall you a little bit so you can work off some of this this rest. Why don't you do, let's see, do that one and that one. Bring At least bring the supplies to all of this. Then you can go rest. We'll gradually start getting everybody back onto this time schedule now that is, the disease is mostly gone. Okay. So Michael, you are heading off to rest. And... You were actually needing it. Okay, so that works out good. You're back in sync. All right, so Miss P's working up here. And we have wood nearby. Why don't you work on that one? Oh, good, it's already here. Then you can work on that one next, too. Construction failed. Oops. Yeah, she doesn't have the skill for it. That's what happens when they don't have a great construction skill. Got that one going, though. But if you can get this one going, then your mood will be better. Who else is up? Andy's up. Okay, then, Miss Pete, why don't you cancel that? And, oh, not that one. There you go. Go mine, go mine where? Let's get some bedrooms actually finished. Let's get you into here and mine that one. And Handy, you are, needs food. Yep, consuming and carrying. When you're done, let's manually get you over into here and start to tear all this down. Now we shouldn't have a roof issue, right? This comes down, we've got the, the mountain over the top of us, so we shouldn't be surprised by a secondary roof that was on top of this little indoor structure or anything like that. Let's see if I can break the game here by queuing up way too many All right, and as soon as these walls are gone, there'll probably be floor underneath them as well. Yep, right there. So I'll have to go back and, and redo these. But can I get this one done? Miss P just checked out on me. She's wearing a simple steel helmet. She's feeling like impending doom is on its way in. Hmm, simple steel helmet, huh? Let's look at these again. Bill, back we'll look at this while you're looking at handy. All right. Simple helmet took 70 steel. The advanced helmet, what's the difference? Well, we could look at Miss P, I guess, right here and try that again. And gear, she hasn't got there yet. <laughs> okay, we'll go back to this one. This one, Bill's, there's Handy working away. And she's still working, yeah. I was wondering if the game would have paused. Um, over here, let's add the 
advanced helmet. And then let's let's go back into this though. Advanced helmet I. You don't really tell me why you're advanced. I wondered if you would. Requires plasteel though. We do have a little bit. But we'll, we'll need that for other things. I want to see the hospital beds have plasteel in them. At least some other more advanced things like that. These guys do not decay, so they can be outside just fine. We got quite a bit out of there, though. We got uh, 93, I think is what that makes up. Yeah. Um, Handy's still at it. Let's add a few more to the queue here. Floors, remove everything else in there. And... <laughs> like I can find those handy. Let's try it. There we go. We'll just run the perimeter there remove remove And that one Okay, one more patiently waiting Okay, and handy. This is the fast part, doing the uh, the floors. What hasn't been done? I don't know. Is it these four? Yeah, I think the line ends right there. Okay, remove and remove. All right, that's finally done. And that room's mostly finished, just like that which will be marble. So we'll get uh, structure, marble, and that is right there. And there's a door in that one. Oh, good. Finally get this perimeter figured out. So you're there, and you're actually a vent. Like so. Okay, that works good. Now, how do we cool this place? I haven't really thought about wherever the main entrance is going to be. We know we have an entrance over here. Yeah, as far as a back door into the, the freezer, into the meat locker. So, but that's just going to dump heat out of these areas. We're going to have to come up with a main cooling area. Heaters are easy. With all the vents, we'll just pop them into the hallways in random places. Also need to think about uh, bulkheads going through here. Maybe each bedroom block will have a bulkhead right at this point here. And... You know, we'll, we'll figure that out. I want, don't want to put too many doors in here. Though I could just lock them all open. That's right, that's what I was going to do. I'll start not locking all these guys open. So that we're not having to wait to walk through them while we're doing the construction. Okay. So these are already locked open. There's one. Uh, you're waiting for someone to walk through you. Okay. This is done. Alright. I'm, what, half hour into this? Nothing exciting has happened yet other than just listen to me ramble on. These rooms end there. So this one's ready for walls. And this is marble. Right? Yeah, that void right there is that one. Go through like this. You're good. You're done. You're done. Okay. And here. And more doors. Right there, and vent, temperature vent, E, right in there, good. Yep, and he's throwing this place together for us. Um, nothing more has happened in here other than this area. Okay, that would be marble wall as well. That's like so, kitchen, so there's a door leaving the kitchen. Hmm. There's a door there, and there's a door there. And the kitchen's right there. Okay, that makes sense. Then there's another door here. This is an airlock from the kitchen into the food fridge. And out of the food fridge, two doors airlock into the dining room. Okay, that works. This is the refrigerator. It's all going to kind of a big rectangle split up by a pathway in. Moisture pumps are done. Ooh, research screen. What is next? Passive coolers. Let's get that one going. And that could be both. That one's not high tech, so on a Natalia could jump into this bench as well. Um, Tomislav just snuck off to build a marble wall with his wife. Isn't that nice? Um, where in this room did I put a torch? I kind of didn't. Okay. So, structure, furniture, torch. 
That would go... Well, we'll put it out here. Just so there's nothing as we move to make it work. There's a torch waiting to go in there, there, there. Um, probably should get a torch kind of into this area. That's where the moisture pump's going to go, which we'll work on next. That one's ready to go in. Need a torch in this room for Alicia. Okay, so Handy, you are where now? There you are. Alright, let's get you on torch duty for the rest of your shift. Yeah. Um, you have a meal. You have a meal on you. That's right. I saw you pick it up. Yeah. Okay. So turn that off, handy. I want you to do this one next, and then probably have to tell you specifically to do this one because you're just going to bring the extra wood and fill in these doors. Okay. That and that. Uh, there's one right here, and then one right here. Let's see if we can get all this going. Now, how will you deal with that meal? In the middle of all this. What was that noise? Catherine's no longer inspired. Okay, so we we'll can probably set her back to art again. Alright, I think that's all the torches. I don't know what happens when you grab that meal if it just cancels out everything I've done or if you'll continue after that. But let's watch this for a little bit first. Yeah, you filled in that door. And Okay, you're gonna go for more wood. You're gonna bring all the wood down here to fill them all in. Because working on a torch is two steps. Bringing the wood over and building it. And you're only going to get the first step done on all those. But the dogs keep bringing more wood over here, so it'll be fine. And we're getting the, the wood preloaded into the doors, which means those will be queued up to get working on too. So, that works. Cathra, you can work. Go back to art. Thank you for your hauling duties. And back to cleaning afterward, but go ahead and do art first. Now, moisture pump. Moisture pump. What do I want here? Architect miscellaneous? Moisture pump. Yep, there it is. I remember that used to be a mod. Boy, Alpha 12? 11? I used to I put a mod in to get the moisture pump to clear out areas so that I could... No, it was a moisture pump, but it also there was a soil manufacturer of some kind. You put it out there and gradually it would create soil inside of the mountain so that you can then put a grow light in. I remember all that. A long time since so I messed with that. Okay, moisture pump, you're going in over here somehow. How do you work specifically? What are you going to tell us? Very slowly removes moisture from nearby terrain, converting marshes and shallow water into dry ground. Does not affect deep water. Okay, or I assume flowing water right just out of curiosity this is considered shallow moving water okay that's probably the difference shallow water and shallow moving water you see the ripples that leave behind they swirl too isn't that neat okay moisture pump what kind of power do you take you're not gonna tell us okay but yep you do take power though so it means i've got to run power over here so if i were to drop you right in there and then let's get some conduit put in uh power Right there. Does it matter where we tap? Probably not. Let's just come out through here. Like so. Like that. That should be plenty. Alright, so who's up? Handy is busy. And is she starving yet? Nope, she got her meal. And she's building on Yep, they cancelled everything. <laughs> no, she got them done. Well, kind of. These that already have materials brought to them are done. Let's do it that way. Um, it'd be kind of neat to get that done. But no. Handy, let's get you over here doing this. Let's put you in the center point right there. And build that one. And then build this one. We'll see if you bring enough steel. Which is nearby. It's right here. So this should actually go pretty quick. In fact, maybe we can watch this happen. Otherwise, any other doors? That's still waiting for someone to walk through it. Probably all of these are waiting for someone to walk through them. Yeah, I just got to send somebody through. But I won't bother. The next person that actually has to walk through it will do the job for us. All right, did you bring enough for all this? You actually kind of did. Very good. Where are you going? You're going to get more for the moisture pump. Which takes what? It takes 75 steel and 5 components. Okay. Just wondering when to manually haul them up to get uh, to get the components. I'm just noticing we've got we've got quite a herd of pigs going on here now, which means we probably will never see enough grass 
growing out of here. Well, we're not officially in spring yet. We're, we're doing pretty good over here as far as grass goes, though. We are. Handy, how you doing? Oh, oh slow moving through the chunks. That's what that was. You are at 75 now. We need five components. Then you'll start constructing all of this. Um... There really isn't another good place for a grazing area. In fact, none of the grass has really come back through this area. We are at 6th of April, May. Why is this done so much better? Curious. It's not like all of this has burnt with fires. We've got so many trees here, we know that's not the case. But we're doing well over here on the edges. Yep, on the edges. Passive cooler's done. we got some good researchers. Um, all right, we'll, we'll pause enough for this. Uh, back to precision rifling until we figure out, uh, where else to go. Okay. But, yeah, we're, we're grassed out well on the edges. We're not in the middle. Maybe at the beginning of spring, the grass starts at the edge and then gradually works its way inward. In which case, will it work its way through the gauntlet into here, or is this area just doomed? Hmm... We could pasture, like, out over here. I wonder about that. I don't know if we should just add it. Um, let's... How would we do that? Zone, you will also be... Alpaca grazing land. And we'll set you from here... To here. Minus. You know, like so, and like so, and... Inside the, the building eventually inside the building um yeah something like that we could do that just to although i have to really be careful about setting up hunting over here but that would kind of give us a break on our use of kibble and hay if we did that uh make small sculpture is done okay never actually noticed that before it was here so she's hauling it we'll look at this one before this episode's over pump is stalled. Okay. We'll have to have someone come over and manually do that. Uh, you're over here. Let's see what you built. And then maybe we will pause. You are, you are cleaning dirt. Because maybe we hit the end of the bills. I was going to switch Michael over to this. But right there. Bills were satisfied. Okay. So next time we'll have Michael do another round of them. And then maybe even a third person. We'll take a look, see who else has a burning passion for art. But Cathro just made this one. What is this one? A normal quality. Ooh. But only 68. What was the really good one? Superior. I didn't notice that. Superior quality. Okay. Well, she's getting there. You are. Art. Let's see here. Agira by Orange. Hmm. This piece bears a depiction of a mesa. The scene takes place inside a community built near a crag. While the style is dadistic with minimalist elements. Where did Agira come in on this? Hmm, weird. Okay, just random name there. Okay, so that is that. Sangra's training. Animals. So hauling is where? This one? That one. So these are all the ones that are already set to haul, including one wild boar. So we're now working on these guys here. As well as, actually, all the wild boars now are are officially uh, qualified. I did rescue on these. Kind of a mistake. I, I'm not still real sure how rescue works. As far as do they have to be assigned to somebody, and then that's the one that will be rescued, or somebody near them. But we'll see. I guess if there's anyone I want to send into battle to rescue someone it would probably be the pigs rather than the dogs but uh, we'll see how that works Catherine's on cleaning duty and actually can you hmm I guess there isn't any dirt in there okay well good oh anyway Tomislav you are over here let's have you get our moisture pump going which means setting it manually huh let's do this work Tomislav turn your construction up to a one for just a little while and have you just buzz through this area real quick. And that little pause just worried me, but no, 
Nothing happened. Still been kind of boring. We got power. Okay, so in that case, Tomislav, you can go back to research. Great, thank you. All right, so we are working in a sphere this big. Might not hurt to go ahead and get the rest of this mined out now, just in case that turns out to be a problem. Um, how best? So I can remember how it all goes back together. Um, let's see here. Orders and mining. Let's do like from here to here. And I'll be able to see the other areas there. So who is up and mineable? Alicia is. Why don't you work on that one? And Miss B, you're down here somewhere. You are digging up marble. Let's dig at that marble. Thank you. Well, I guess that's not marble. It's granite. Marble. Okay. Granite's over here. Mm-hmm. So we'll have a marble hospital. Theoretically. We'll see how well this moisture pump works. All right. Well, we have a bedroom. We really do. That's all looking good. Looking for other perimeters that have been been uh, tapped into. Um, this is the perimeter of the of the um, kitchen. So eventually, I want to take these walls out, but I want to do it when I get back here. And we have a void over here. Ooh, what's that all about? Somebody was just about to expose it, and I interrupted them. Alicia, where'd you go? You snuck away. You went to bed. Okay. Miss Pete, I'm curious. What is in there? Tap that one for me, and then you can come back and, and tap that one. And do we have more than just the four? You are one, two, three, four, and this one is not. So just the four so far. Okay. Now what is this when this exposes? There's something in here. It could just be one space. Or it could be a whole new area wow and whoa <laughs> yeah that changes things this is now an inlet to our map this is now a place for the enemy to invade and attack this has got to be sealed like now and that takes out part of our freezers okay that's not too bad well where's the kitchen that's in the kitchen too hmm we may be scrunching this up a little bit and shifting the kitchen over. Yeah, because I can only build so far. I'll show you. Now, this is marble, but we're going in with granite here. So, structure, granite, and I can only build here. Now, I could put a real nice back door over here. Don't know that I really want to, but there's something to think about. We could back door and be able to sneak up into here but then they can sneak back down and bang on our back door so that's a problem too so you're going there and now what is stronger a marble solid marble 450 hit points or a uh, granite wall there marble granite wall 595 hit points okay so let's go ahead and take these two out and then we will put granite back into those places too. I'm going to hold off and put doors through there just yet. You guys let me know what you think, but I see it as a weak point in, at the, our back wall, so our, our Achilles heel there. So don't really want to dive into that, but I do want somebody right now to start filling that in. Natalia is making an armor vest and Miss P is mining. Let, and everybody else is sleeping. Look at the schedule. It's finally lining back up again. Other than Missa P and Natalia, which are the, the two that are on Night Owl schedule, it really worked. Good. That's the way it's supposed to look. It's just been 20 episodes since then. Um, Natalia, why don't you come and fill this in? With everything you can find. So, yep, yeah, there's granite over there. So you're able to carry 70 of them. Good. So fill these in, then we'll, in fact, uh, Miss P, you can actually come and mine out these two. And we'll get these filled in as well. And then first one that gets up, well, Handy is up, okay? In that case, Handy can relieve you, Natalia, as soon as you lay these out. Now, you could accidentally get yourself locked outside. Uh, Natalia... 
let's break that. Okay, you can still walk through them, thankfully, until they're built. I'm just going to have to remember to not put in... You're not, Handy. <laughs> Handy is going for a walk because she needs a little bit of joy time. Not really. No, she doesn't need it. Uh, her rest is done, though, and it's still one in the morning. So not quite in sync yet, but they're getting there. Um, you don't need a meal. You've got one in your back pocket. You don't. Well, you just have to go without that today. But let's hit over here and... How best? Let's very specifically say, do that one, do these in order, and then up here. I guess I'll just have to try to be here at that time to see if we can get you standing on the inside when you build the last one. Then we'll be fine. Otherwise, we need to mine a path through here and. Do you think the game would ever spawn enemies in here because it touches the outside, even though there's no way in or out? I'm curious to see what would happen there. Hmm. Now, you take quite a while to do this, even at your skill, don't you? Granite wall. Okay, so we'll do that and that. All right. So with that, what's going on? I need to come back to her before this episode ends. Natalia's back there. Klaus is digging a marble. Um, Klaus, why don't you dig right here? Let's continue busting this open. I need to get a light in here, too. Furniture right there. Um, right in that space that was not water. That'd be a good place for it. And who best? Klaus. Tomasov's still sleeping. Natalia is trying to make armor vests. I like that I better leave her alone. We might actually need those armor vests. Miss Pete, you're down here. Why don't you work with Klaus some more and continue opening up this whole area. So far, we're still shallow, 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 shallow. So, Klaus, work on this one. I want to get around this thing, see if it's just a little pond or if, if, as we expose more, if more shows up. We got shallow over here too, right? Yeah, there's some shallow there. So it's two different spots. How many watts is this taking? You are taking 150. So we should be able to handle it. Especially here real soon when our growing uh, season starts. And we'll be able to... In fact, that's probably something for next episode. Go ahead and get all of the planting beds going again. So Miss p has got that one done. Let's walk over and do this one. Klaus, why don't you do this one? Let's just keep working around this thing and see if we're truly isolated. Area revealed. A new area has been revealed. All right. This area is marble chunk. Rough hewn marble. And right here. Auto saving. Okay, we seem to be isolated just right there. So we need another one right there. And that one bedroom that was bad. Another one right there. So lots of little spots. Are these guys reinstallable? Please, 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 please. They're not. Ugh. Okay. Well, we're going to have to build several and then just get tiny little uses out of them. That's a shame. Now, that sphere isn't big enough. You know, if I had known... I could have put it right here and probably snagged all of it. Hmm. Though I don't know how it works. If it just starts making a circle and gradually getting bigger until it's completely done, or if it works specifically on just the one spot. Don't know. Okay, well, we've got that area to deal with, we've got that area to deal with, and we've got these four to deal with. Alright, up in here. And he's not trapped, so I guess she made it. <laughs> That's got to get done. So, Miss P, actually, Alicia, you are digging up marble, and you're in good shape. Why don't you work on, on this one? Hmm. What did we have here? This was more of this right here. So let's actually cancel. Um, let's see here. What do I want here? Cancel. Don't know if that's even queued up. It's not. So that's planning tool. Orders. We're going to cancel this stretch through here. Okay. Otherwise, we do need to mine out 
this right here so we can get into that space. So Alicia, why don't you work on that one for me? And then we need walls over here, uh, structure and granite for those two. Your granite, your granite. Why the difference in color? That's really odd. I don't have an answer for that one. Granite wall 595 of 595, same description. Okay, it just went away. Because of what's next to it, apparently. That goes away, this changes? Um, maybe. Hmm, okay. So, Handy, you are building a roof over here, and we'll also have you already constructing area. Okay. <laughs> You're already in charge of it. Good. So with that, we should see all this change. It's almost like where it's contacting the regular wall. I don't know. That's different. Um, Handy, let's have you work on that one, though you could still build yourself in over here, too. Uh, let's set these up for mining, just in case that turns out to be your only way out. So... These are already set to mine. Okay. Do we want to mine that one? This was supposed to be part of the kitchen. So we're going to have a slightly different uh, uh, kitchen coming in here. We're going to cancel that one. Slightly different shape than I had planned. So, yeah, these things just kind of happen in RimWorld. Never know what you're going to break into. I'm actually surprised we didn't get more of this sort of thing through here. Real fortunate, but we could tap one at any point, and suddenly we've got a huge void over here. And, or, or another you know valley inlet over here where the valley on the, from the next map tile over here on the world map you know actually extends into this point right here and we actually don't have as much mountain as we think we did so there's that to be to be you know to keep in mind we could suddenly open up a whole new front of a of, of battle on this map that we'd ever planned but with all of that, I think I will go through after the episode's over and kind of set all of the grow areas back up. Don't need to, to watch that again. And I'll just go through and, and continue to add little walls, pieces, and don't remember... Oh, that's just a regular door. We don't need a, a um, an airlock between the, the freezers. That's not necessary. But little things. Check up on the walls. Make sure everything's placed where it's supposed to be and stuff like that. So I'll just call this one done. Some Noble Rambler and... And still a, a quiet episode. So, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.